This is a Game Caviar production. I'd certainly hope so. Not having it with another new game for Game Caviar, Bioshock Infinite, another new game for the channel. Let's see, I brought you Dead Space 3, Tomb Raider, Gears of War Judgment, now Bioshock Infinite, poss possibly, probably this week. I'll say probably this weekend, I will bring you the new Army of Two game. This is what Game Caviar brings to YouTube, the newest, hottest games with the most honest opinions about these games I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything I don't have a company that tells me to or what or what not to say about a video game this is me this is what I think and these are the hottest games available right now this is the first five minutes of Bioshock Infinite you arrive in a boat to a lighthouse and the people who hired you to go get the girl Elizabeth uh, told you to come here and you'll see how this plays out. It's really cool. Anyway, how many of you are gonna get Bioshock Infinite? If you haven't already who has it who's planning on getting it who hates Bioshock? I want to know I want to talk to you guys because uh, Like I said, I, I love having this a discussion with the uh, The the subscribers the caviars and the caveats out there who have been with the channel not the random people who just want to troll but serious honest comments that we can have a really civilized discussion about it i want to know what you think about this game if you have it if you're thinking about it if you're on the fence about getting it look this game has been getting really great reviews i mean really really great reviews all right i can look up the metacritic score right now this is what i personally go off of let me see um uh, Metacritic.com. Let's see what they have here for Metacritic.com. And all Metacritic is, it's a, uh, it's, it's, it's like a, a bunch of reviews from professional companies that, that are doing reviews like IGN and GameFAQs and things like that. And they also have user reviews, okay? I'm going to tell you right now, as of Friday, March 29th. Bioshock Infinite has a meta a meta score of 93 out of 100. 93 out of 100. That means, and that's just for, that's just the the critics, the professional critics. On the user score, it's an 8.8, .8, which is still really good. But a nine a 93 out of 100, and you have like Xbox 360 achievements, Cheat Code Central, Big Pond Game Arena, uh, quarter to three. I've never heard of them before. Never in my life have I heard of a video game website called Quarter 3. Uh, EGM, Game Informer. Uh, I meant to say Game Informer. I think I said Game Facts earlier. I meant to say Game Informer. Uh, IGN, IGN Italia. That's pretty cool. I didn't even know. Mondo Xbox, Gamer Limit. Uh, Xbox 360 Magazine UK. These are all like 90s and 88s and... Man, this quarter to three gave it a 60. Let me see. Bioshock Infinite attempts an uncharted style relationship between two characters that doesn't work as well as it needs to. Uh, Booker do. I'm going to say they're probably pretty much being a little bit too critical on the game. Seeing as how every other person or every other organization that has uh, reviewed the game has given it pretty high scores. I don't know. Oh, what is this? It says, I don't know whether this is true yet, but it says Bioshock Infinite is coming on PlayStation Vita. What is that? What is that? What? Googling it. Bioshock Infinite. Uh, oh, okay. It says it's, it says Bioshock Infinite is technically playable on PS Vita through remote play. Who knows whether that's going to happen or not. The Vita Man, I, I have a Vita Man, but I haven't touched my Vita in like three months. I'm serious. And it's not, it, it just doesn't get supported at all, period. I thought I was going to play it a lot when Final Fantasy VII came out for it. I didn't. And Retro City Rampage, I played it, and then I didn't. It doesn't have that game that makes me want to play that. Remote play would definitely be something that would make me use my Vita a lot more. And I think that Sony said that all play PS4 games will be playable on the PlayStation Vita. If not all of them, then some of them.
but I think they said all during the PS4 press conference. Anyway, Bioshock Infinite is amazing. Talk to me about it. Let's discuss it. Are you getting it? Do you have it? Do you think? Of, are you thinking about getting it? I want to know. This video is over. It's going to fade to black. I'm not having it in the Game Caviar Studios, and I'm out. This has been a Game Caviar production. Like this video and subscribe for more.